Have you heard about Royal Caribbean's option called The Key? It offers priority access and shorter waits for a few things, but here's why you don't need it up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from Royal Caribbean Blog, and I wanted to share why you don't need to buy the key on your Royal Caribbean cruise. Let's start with what the key is. Royal Caribbean offers guests the opportunity to purchase before the cruise premier access to a variety of amenities and offerings while on their cruise. The key must be purchased before the cruise. It offers a number of benefits, including priority check-in and boarding on day one, carry-on bag drop off and delivery to the stateroom, exclusive welcome lunch with food from Chop's Grill, private hours and onboard activities, including the rock climbing wall, flow rider, and more, priority departure at ports of call from ship to shore, seats in the exclusive VIP seating section at shows in the main theater, aqua theater, Studio B, and 270, Voom, Surf and Stream internet access, and exclusive breakfast and choice departure on debarkation day. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Absolutely. The key is a great way to splurge and pay extra for a variety of benefits that may or may not ordinarily be available. While all this sounds cool, here's why you don't need to get the key. The price of the key will vary, but you need to buy it for everyone in your room who is above the age of six years old. At a daily cost of $25 to $29.99 per guest per day, the price for a family can add up very, very quickly. Now let's talk about the benefits next because these sound very lucrative. They certainly do offer priority access as advertised, but here's why it's not as important or useful as it sounds. Priority check-in on embarkation day means you get a special line at the cruise terminal to check in and will be called earlier to board. Royal Caribbean has been optimizing and enhancing its check-in process over the last year or two to make things as fast and easy as possible for everybody. If you're cruising from a port that takes advantage of Royal Caribbean's new app and expedited check-in, the check-in process is already incredibly fast. Moreover, if you arrive at the cruise terminal earlier, say between 10 a.m. and 11.30 a.m., you'll beat the crowds anyway and get on board quickly, regardless if you have the key or not. The key includes essentially a complimentary meal with food from Chop's Grill in the main dining room. Certainly nice to have an upgraded lunch, but I find a sit-down meal on embarkation day takes significantly longer than a bite to eat in the Windjammer buffet. Moreover, on the first day, you're going to want to be exploring the ship, grabbing drinks at the pool, and taking advantage of lower crowds as signature activities like the water slides or floor rider. So taking an hour or longer for lunch once you get on board isn't always my idea of a great start. Speaking of those exclusive hours, it sounds pretty nice to have special times throughout the cruise where people with the key get to enjoy certain activities. The thing is, it's not available for every activity. As an example, on a recent Oasis of the Sea sailing in 2020, it was available for just the zip line, rock wall, and flow rider for a total of three and a half hours over the course of an entire seven night cruise. The priority departure at ports of call from ship to shore really means if your ship tenders, you will get priority access to a tender. A tender is a small little boat that comes to your cruise ship because you're not docking at a pier. These days, Royal Caribbean rarely tenders, especially in the Caribbean. So unless you're visiting Belize or Grand Cayman, this benefit is likely to be lost on you. The reserved seating in the theater is nice, but it's not necessarily the best seating. Don't confuse reserved seating with reserved best seating. And like all reserved seating, you still have to arrive early to the show to get one of these seats. If you arrive too close to showtime, or even after the show starts, these seats get opened up to everyone. Now, the Voom internet access is a big part of the daily cost of the key and a compelling aspect to why to purchase it. If you're going to buy the internet access anyway, I would guess you'd probably save money by pre-booking an internet package during one of the cruise line's pre-cruise sales and lock in a great rate. And lastly, that breakfast on the last day is nice to have, but there is a much wider variety of hot food available at the Windjammer. And in terms of getting off the ship quicker, you can always ask guest relations for a luggage tag with a lower number on the last night of your cruise to ensure you're getting off the ship sooner. Or you can simply walk off the ship with your own luggage to be among the first to leave the ship. With all that being said, I think you can now see why the key is not totally necessary to get. Sure, you could pay money for these perks and have a convenient means of getting them in one easy to do package. Thing is, I think if many of these benefits are mitigated by strategies outlined in this video or are simply not as lucrative as they sound. I did skip over one benefit, which was the carry on bag drop off and delivery to the Sayer Bun Embarkation Day because it is absolutely as good as it sounds. But since you're paying for the key every day of your cruise, I feel this benefit, which is only available on Embarkation Day, is largely forgotten once your cruise really gets going. 
So I want to know, have you bought the key before? Are you thinking of getting it? Which benefits are the most lucrative ones to get? And what is most appealing about purchasing the key? Be sure to share this in your comments below this video. I'd love to read it. And I'm sure others watching this video would as well. And while you're down there, like this video and subscribe to our channel. So that way you get notified when we have a brand new Royal Caribbean blog video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com and we'll talk again real soon.